Uh, so if you're watching this video, my name is Todd McLeod. My GitHub counts goes to 11. And uh, that last thing, we were just looking at image analysis, and you could find that right here, image comparison, right there. It's pretty awesome. But just wanted to show you where that is. And here's the next thing. And uh, I've been working on this Twitter example. I break it up into steps. It starts right here at step one. And so far, I'm at step 44. <laughs> it's a lot. Right? But, you know, and there's some things I put in, like uh, I was mim caching templates, but then down here, you know, I, uh, I remove mim cache templates, turn off mim cache, right? Because that just kind of added to complexity and the pages were changing on every load, so it didn't make sense to mim cache them because you're always showing new tweets, right? So there's things you could learn, but then I undo them. But here's uh, here's like the latest version. So uh, we'll just serve that up. How do you like that for lunch? Uh, and uh, and it's uh, 56, and it's 44. There we go. Localhost 8080. Um, and I'll show you one thing too, which you should know about if you don't know about it already. Here's all my confidential information. <laughs> and, uh, and what I'm looking for is uh, Chaba. You could spam him too. And I'm looking for this link right here. So Rio and I are, uh, are going to be going to this. Don't those people look happy? They look like they're having fun. Yeah, so November 21st. Is this is this their only website? Uh, it's just the event site. No, this is the event right There is another site. Um, yeah. They, have, they, have, they said it somewhere. Looks like I've got best ones in the biggest one. Uh-huh. Yep. They limited to 300. We would have taken 350. <laughs> so. Oh, they limit it to 300. They do. Only 300 people get it. Oh, wow. Yeah. So what, why is it at Google? Because it's hosted by Google. Uh -huh. And they don't have anywhere to host it. It's just okay. like, you know, for GDG Fresno, we hosted it here because it's free. Yeah. They do it at Google because it's free. Yeah. All right. And how many tickets do you get for $20? One. <laughs> All right. But you get an all-day event and breakfast, uh, lunch, and an event t-shirt. So. And you get to be at the mothership. And you get to hang out at the mothership all day. That's cool. All right, so uh, I'm going to log in, and I'll create an account. And the account that I'm going to create is, uh, I don't know, Daniel. We already have a Daniel. Patrick. And so it needs to be Patrick at example.com. And it'll just be Patrick. will be your username. And password's 123. So I create that account. Cool. All right, I get tweet. Hello, everybody. A tweet. All right. Now, it's a little bit buggy. <laughs> I need to disable that, right? <laughs> just put too many records in, right? But I could then also go and just say, hey, just I just want to see just... Uh, well, dang it, now there's so many Patrick things in there. But right here you can see that there's stuff from Cowboy, somebody, 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 Cowboy, right? That's the home page. I could just go here and I could go to User and uh, go to Cowboy. And I could just see Cowboy stuff. Or I could see what was somebody was the other one. I could just see somebody stuff. And not only that, you now see I can follow somebody. It's always nice to follow somebody. It's better than following nobody. Right? And so now I followed somebody, and I can unfollow somebody. I could follow somebody again. Right? And, uh, and I could also follow Cowboy. So there's Cowboy. I haven't followed Cowboy yet, so I'll follow Cowboy. Right? And I could go see who am I following. 
Well, cool. I'm following Cowboy and somebody. Uh, right? Awesome. Who's following me? Nobody. Right? Nobody's following me. So I can log out, and I can log in as a Cowboy. And uh, and I could come in here and I could say, hey, who's who's uh, following me? I'm Cowboy in this example. Well, nobody, Patrick, and somebody's following me. Who am I following? Cowboy, cow kid, and somebody. Because you're using Go, does that mean you're not really loading the page over in? You're just loading the templates on the same page. So this is a this is a the only stuff that I'm doing with Ajax is uh, is right here. When you go to log in and you do a create account and you're searching for something, if I search for cowboy, can't take that. So every time I put something in, it is uh, running. You know, like as I type stuff in here, you clear that out. Right? It's like, hey, is there anything in the data store with C as a username? False. CO, false. COW, false. COB, COBO, COBOY, true. Somebody has that name. Cool. Display the message. You can't, you can't use that username. Somebody else has it. Right? So I just set it up That's to log awesome. log yeah. that too. Very close to the experience of Twitter. Yeah. But as far as changing the menu items up here, that's not a whole new page. That's just no, that's a whole, that's a whole new page. So all the other stuff I just did at server side, just and it's all happening locally, so it's lightning fast. But um, you know, I don't know what what it'd be. There's a couple of things that there there you know, are some things I'd want to think about from a performance standpoint, like uh, if you look at like all my yeah I guess you see them here. All my requests, right? Like I have my templates really sort of uh, broken out, and so get you can see getting three style sheets every time. You know, a lot of times I'm getting three style sheets, like here, like I'm just grabbing a whole bunch of stuff. So a lot of calls to the server. Yeah. Yeah, but that's just. I mean, not just that's performance stuff that you can go in. I guess what I'm asking is, when you change the menu up there from log in to log out, for instance, um, the one where it doesn't, okay, like here, follow to unfollow. Mm -hmm. instance, if you do a follow to unfollow, is it recasting the entire DOM tree, or is it just adding and subtracting from the same DOM tree and only changing one little bit? That's the question. When you when you go to another template file to change just a piece of the menu, is it making a whole new DOM tree or is it just changing just a one little bit of the DOM tree? So the way that the follow unfollow works is I have a, a little field I set, which I check, and here in my templates, here is follow and unfollow the buttons, mm -hmm. right? And so what's happening is, uh, hey, if you're logged in. If you're logged in, then all this is going to happen. And otherwise, if you're not logged in, then you could choose to log in. But if you are logged in, then you could choose to log out. So that's where the log in, log out toggles. And if you're logged in and you are viewing a user, right, then this happens. And if you're following that user, then you can unfollow. Otherwise, you could follow. And I wish mine didn't give me these errors. I don't have my templates set up in WebStorm to. Not show me those errors. The underlines, right? So that, that's that's where it is. And so every time it's just a page reload. So it goes to the server, recreates the page, and, you know, figures out that logic, and then builds the page and sends it. But you could have done that with Ajax, right? You could have just asked for this data, and then with Ajax looked in the DOM, and you know, uh, I don't know what the heck you do with it. Enable, disable, or um, yeah. Yeah, no, last night at 11 o'clock, I was like, I got prep for class tomorrow, and I was up till 3.30. Can you tell me how you did the pop-up for the tweet? The modal tweet? The modal tweets are, uh, modals are like, if you, if you so. Uh, oh, my God, you're using Bootstrap? No way, are you kidding me? <laughs> it's a font. Font, awesome. <laughs> um, so uh, if you look at, like, modal uh, uh, JavaScript, Right, um, 
JavaScript bootstrap, bootstrap JS modal reference, right? Uh, modal uh, HTML, right? And you could look at like modal HTML5. A lot of them are done with JavaScript. And so there's some concern about having too much custom JavaScript. And with accelerated mobile pages, Google's saying no custom JavaScript, right? And you can use web components. So like if that's something that they built and it's got some JavaScript in it, you can use it. Um, but no custom JavaScript. And, uh, and so you know, maybe there's a trend back towards more server side as opposed to client side. The pendulum swung pretty far to client side. Anyhow, you could do modals with JavaScript or you could do them with uh, HTML5. And, uh, and that's just like at Twitter, right? So if you're at Twitter, and if you're not following me on Twitter, you should totally follow me because, like, I don't know, I don't have a reason to joke about. But, you know, you do the tweet and there's the little deal. And I'm not sure, uh, I'm not sure how they do theirs. But the way, I just found one, and this is how I found the, what's that mean if I got a one right there? Where's a notification? Where? Right here? But I got three there, and it said one up there. And I come here, I'm like, what's my notification? None of this looks like I, I need to know about it. These but are the people that you're following, right? I don't know. I Twitter confuses people me. People you follow, yeah. Twitter, all people. Twitter like, confuses me, too. I've gotten to the age where it's like I got so much work, I don't have time to figure out these social networking things. <laughs> I got time to build one, but not to use one. Um, That's awesome. So, uh, but, you know, there's this, uh, what is the place for, like, uh, gosh, man, there's this really cool site. Maybe I have it under uh, Edit Fiddle, um, where they have a lot of code samples. Like, if you want to see how to do something, it's like, just. Um, Huh? Not just. JS Fiddle, or it's like HTML, uh, HTML um, form entry. I guess HTML modal example. Put that in, see if that brings it up. Bootstrap, because it should remember like all the websites I've been to. See you, Rio. <coughs> thanks, like thanks. Huh? Custom JavaScript? Um. I'm going to pause this video while I find it, maybe. What the heck is the name of that? It'll be somewhere in these links. No problem, no problem. You get by? Yeah. See you. Uh, have a nice time tonight. Okay. With you. Thanks, Rio. I appreciate that. Huh? All right, well, I can't find it. So anyhow, the way I did mine was, uh, what the heck is the name of that place? All right, so it's here at CodePen. That's what I can think, think about. So you could go to CodePen, and you could search for, like, modal. And, uh, and then you could find modals here. So you asked me, how did I do it, right? That's the answer to this question. Sorry it took me so long to get here. Like, oh, that looks pretty cool. That's exactly what I'm looking for. And so, you know, here's an example of a modal. And, uh, you know, close modal. I don't know how you reopen the modal. All right. But, you know, you could say, all right, I could learn about that one. It's, it's got HTML, CSS, and JS, JavaScript, you know. Um, limit search to. Search depth, show frameworks. Um, you could do modal CSS and uh, material design modals. Like here's one. You could try that. And so there's still some JavaScript there. All right. So click sign in and then the modal pops up. This is a really good place to discover how do I do something. So I found one which was only HTML and CSS, no JavaScript. And the way it does it is opacity zero until something gets, you know, the target focus or whatever, and then it becomes opacity one. So. So what what did they mean when they said we don't want any custom JavaScript? What is, what is custom JavaScript? So AMP is a. Accelerated mobile pages. 
So it's only for, it's supposed to be for reading content, newspaper articles, articles, blogs, right? Things that, you know, you want to serve news or stories, right? There's no, it's a static site, basically. There's no, not much that needs to be done to it. And, uh, and so um, somewhere in here, it talks about um, accelerated mobile pages, and then, you know, instant everywhere, and view documentation, technical inter introduction. Nothing here about JavaScript. Um, view so fact. It's not using JavaScript at all anywhere in it. Uh, I'll find that here in a second. Technical introduction is probably here. Fine. JavaScript. Um, one thing we realized earlier is that many performance issues are caused by integration of multiple JavaScript libraries, tools, embeds. Uh, this isn't saying JavaScript immediately leads to bad performance, but once arbitrary JavaScript is in play, most bets are off. Um, H AMP HTML documents would not include any author written JavaScript. With that, this in mind, we made the tough decision that AMP HTML documents would not include any author written JavaScript nor any third party scripts. JavaScript is a core building block for advanced web apps, but for static content, it may not always be required. For a headline, some text, and an image, you do not need JS. Looking further into the content being created on the web nowadays, there are, however, things like light boxes, various elements, polls, quizzes, and other interactive features that cannot easily be implemented without JavaScript. But the web platform is a great solution, custom elements, and web components. Ooh, awesome. We already learned a little bit about it this summer. AMP components may have JavaScript under the hood. So you could do... Uh, and the reason I think you're allowed to do custom elements, right, and web components, um, hold on, is because those run in sort of a, a encapsulated environment, right? It's all inside this one component. That's where your JavaScript is. It's not leaking out, right? It's only in this one little chunk. I don't know if you could use anybody's web components. You'd have, or you know, if you have to use just like pre-built ones. But there's webcomponents.org, and that's a Zeno site, I think. Webcomponents.org contributors. Zeno. <laughs> cool. So that's the modal. Yeah, and that's called code pen. I got to remember that. So something else to show you. You ready for something new? Start a new video. I don't know what that one would be.